Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Rainmakers Roundup. I'm your host, Mark Iorio, and today I have with me Rich Laster. Rich, how are you? Mark, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Good to see you. You too. Rich, uh, Rich is a sales consultant for Empirical Consulting Solutions, and uh, I'm well, you know, it's a great day. Nice and chilly out there, right, my friend? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Coming off a, uh, we were just talking about this before the show, the... Uh, Painful loss. Painful eagles. eagles loss, buddy. I'm sorry yeah. about that. I, I know you're. my doctor. Just has just to internal boost bleeding. <laughs> I lost a little green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I know you're a diehard Eagles fan. I'm sorry, but uh, hey, look. You know they played a great game. They had a great year. Bowles is a great quarterback. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Just wrote a blog post about him. His ability um, to respond to pressure. Mm. to heighten pressure yeah. says a lot. And there are a lot of takeaways for entrepreneurs and business leaders from Nick Foles. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, Rich, is you must believe in the power of networking, right? Sure. Um, you know, you, got a you had a chance to meet Bill Morrow, right? right. Uh, and, and he brought you into Empirical Solutions, Consulting Solutions. Sure. Um, what, what, you know, what attracted you to ECS? Empirical isn't just the name of the firm, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's what they're really about, providing experience-based consulting solutions. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, and, and most people's familiarity with management consulting comes from uh, things like House of Lies with Don Cheadle or what they hear on TV or somebody they happen to know at one of the big five um, where you know textbook practices are pitched and presented to clients mm. as if every business is a cookie cutter. What right. we know in consulting is that every business, even in the same industry, they never fit into the same cookie cutter. No, you, not at you all. Can't, you can't compare um, with one ruler McDonald's and Burger King. No. Right? So it's important to look at things and approach things empirically. Yeah. Um, what is my experience and what does the conversation I have with you when I get down and, 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 and undress all the fluff and all the ego and, and get down to what the real need is and what the real goal is. Of an organization, yeah. Right, yeah. of the organization. How do I help create and drive the solution? Yeah. Because growth is what it's all about. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so um, your role, you've got a great background. I mean, we've talked about this before. Thank your you. background is really, um, I, I want to say it's storied, storied in a good way. Um, and you know your role at ECS is is pretty it's pretty broad, right? You do a lot a bit, there, a right? Bit. So you do some sales consulting, you you do some other stuff. I want to I want to hear about that. Absolutely. Um, the big thing is supporting the ECS team, mm -hmm. which they have done a great architectural work in building out their team. Yeah, they have. Um, uh, it, it's it's amazing. But supporting that team um, through Bill Morrow. Uh, from a sales perspective, mm -hmm. um, from a you know revenue growth solution perspective, mm -hmm. and from a alternative financing perspective, if we look at uh, financing right now, the SBA is currently not reviewing any loan applications. So why is that? The government shutdown, sadly. Yeah. Okay. So it's important to be able to still service those businesses. Mm -hmm. That's where you know a firm like mine will come into play and help. Mm -hmm. And coming to the ECS table with those services, that skill set, that background, I'm just you know another happy ECS team member yeah. looking to help the heroes that we service, which are the entrepreneurs, these business leaders. Yeah. They're the real heroes of our society. Yeah. They create the jobs, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Sure. And without those jobs, there are no tax dollars, no hospitals, no schools. No, nothing. Nothing happens. I mean, it's, That's right. it's all about that, that growth from small business. And, and as you said earlier, Rich, it's, it's really helping those small businesses grow, Absolutely. Uh, expand. What happens when small businesses grow? They add new employees. Those employees right. go out and they spend. Um, it, it's just a, it's a beautiful cycle. Absolutely. Right? Again, back to your, I, I want to, your background that you have for what you're doing at ECS is something that really attracted me to you and, and to have you on the show because 
you know, when, when you do something like this, there's got to be something inside you that says, mm -hmm. I love what I do, right? Oh, yeah. Your background. Uh, t I want you to talk about that because I think it's an important element to, to the audience to have them understand where you came from and why, you know, you're here today with ECS okay. and what drives that passion. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you for that opportunity. Because, you're welcome. Uh, man, you know, so my college training, Temple University, all right? Um, <laughs> Go out. You'll look at that and say, okay, well, this guy is, you know, he's got the background in banking, so he can talk to the bank, obviously, right. very well. Yep. And, and thereby, you assume he can speak with business leaders effectively and drill down, mm -hmm. like really drill down on what they need and, and where that pain spot is and how to help them grow. Yep. But that goes back. So my first job at 12 years old, I asked my grandfather for 10 bucks. He said, you can work for it. Nice. And he allowed me to stand next to the register in his fish market and carry people's bags to their cars. Perfect. For tips. Yep. Now, looking back on that, <laughs> there's some <laughs> child labor law violations, <laughs> right? But I love you, Grandpa. Yeah. Um, but the lesson in that is huge. You create your success, mm -hmm. your hard work. What are you doing? It's not being handed to you, mm. right? So that was a powerful lesson. At 14, um, Will Smith Sr., uh, the actor's father, oh, gave yeah. me an opportunity working at his ice house. Really? And that man was, uh, as they say, a man's man. Yeah. You were going to work for everything you get. You were going to earn it, all right? If yeah. there is something that needs to be done, and you see it, you address it, mm. you step up, you mm. take initiative. Absolutely, right? yeah. There are no Saturdays and Sundays off, Yeah. right? Yeah. Because if you're serious about what you want to go after, yeah. there are no days off. That's right. There are yeah. no holidays. Yeah. A lot of people say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to give myself 90 days, 180 days to bet the opportunity and see yeah. if it's real for me. Okay, so why are you at happy hour? Yeah. Exactly. Yep. How are you at the beach? Have you achieved a milestone? Right. Have you have you reached some mark of success? Yep. You know, so it's like I can honestly say that from my grandfather, from Mr. Will, from my mother who was also an entrepreneur, she had her own card shop. Yep. Um kind of the entrepreneurial bug was kind of bred into me. Yeah. Um and entrepreneurs are people that I relate to very easily. Yeah. You know, so yeah. getting down to those pain spots and drilling down to help. That's cool. So the pa your passion, uh, that, that's, the, is that what you're saying? Your passion for life and, and the way you've approached life and the way you've approached business, that kind of has matched up with, with the, uh, the mantra or the credo at, at ECS, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, the, the skills, Rich, that you bring to the table at ECS, um, Again, they're vast, they're wide, they're varied. You know, you were in banking, uh, you did some alternative financing, um, you know, the consulting side. W what other skills do you feel like you bring to the table with, with EC, uh, to ECS? At its heart, yeah. um, everything I've done in my career has been centered around either helping businesses grow mm -hmm. by accessing the financing they need, mm -hmm. the capital they need to meet working capital, meet payroll, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Or coming in either hands-on, myself as mm -hmm. a sales manager mm -hmm. or as a chief sales officer for hire mm -hmm. um, and actually helping drill down on, guess what? You know, revenue is, is failing or revenue is stagnant. Okay, well, here's why. We're focusing on five areas. We're focusing on five products in this business. Mm -hmm. But this business was built on one. Mm -hmm. Why have we taken so much energy away from that? Mm. Let's focus back. Let's refocus yeah. on what the actual builder of the business was and go from there. That's, you know. What happens when, when, you, when you convey this information yes. to an entrepreneur or to someone who's running an organization mm. or a department or a division within an organization? What do you see happen to them when, when you are able to sort of peel away all that stress and anxiety and then focus in on things that are important and help them grow with that, Rich. What, what, what sort of transformational powers do you see uh, occur within a business person? Um, that's a great question. There is 
something magical that does happen. Um, too often entrepreneurs are um, greeted by consultants with mirrors and smoke. Ah. You know, ECS, we are not here to make you feel good about yourself or to make you feel good about the way things are. We're here to say, look, we're, we're going to have uncomfortable conversation. We're going to ask questions that may sound silly, mm. but we're going to get down to what's really important. Yeah. And based on that, we're going to devise a plan to help you yeah. grow. Period. That's, that's powerful. Period. That is very powerful. And when powerful. you help somebody cut through the fluff, and you know, it's one, and then you, you see that, wow, wait, I can be comfortable. I can be myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that builds relationship, and that's how we build relationship, and yep. that's why ECS is successful. It's successful, yep. We're gonna take a quick break, okay? When we come back, we're gonna come back and talk to Rich Laster more about what ECS is doing out in the marketplace, plus we're gonna get into a case study and uh, talk a little bit about how we've helped or how ECS has helped companies in the past right back after this message from our sponsors. Getting Medicare coverage can be a very confusing and complicated process. Help is just a phone call away, 856-226-4800. As a licensed insurance agent, I'll assist you in making an informed and confident decision on a Medicare plan that meets your needs, lifestyle, and budget. Call me today for a free, no obligation, Medicare benefits consultation, 856-226-4800. Boardwalks built for fun. Legendary rock and roll clubs. This is how we do it. Casinos by the ocean. Now that's New Jersey. 130 miles of beautiful beaches, solid rock, and everything in between. Now that's New Jersey. Burlington County College. Is now Rowan College at Burlington County. Still the same great faculty. At a community college ranked top 50 in the nation. Basically, we earn more and pay less. RCBC students are accepted at Rowan University after graduation. And get a bachelor's degree for around $30,000. Online and Mount Laurel students get a 15% Rowan University tuition discount. And at many scholarship opportunities. So you earn more and pay even less. Rowan College of Burlington County. Your path to success. They are the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen. Welcome back to Rainmakers Roundup. I am your host, Mark Iorio, and I'm with Rich Laster. Rich is uh, a sales consultant with Empirical Consulting Solutions. Welcome back. Thank you. You're welcome. Great to have you. You made a comment earlier, Rich, um, about uh, ECS and, and really what makes them different from other consulting firms. Um, and, and again, we're not, I'm not here to knock other consulting firms, but right. you had mentioned something like, you, you know, your, your metaphor was, you know, other consulting firms come to these companies, these organizations with a mirror and smoke, right. but ECS really doesn't do that. Can you dive a little deeper into that uh, thought process. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, 48 Laws of Power is a book that every uh, young lady and gentleman in corporate America is typically told to read by their first mentor. Uh, law number one says never outshine the master. This would have you believe that the client is always right, um, that you need to play to their ego, that you need to um, at times, people lie. Mm. Um, that's not the case. Um, the master is the client, but it's the client's true self. It's not the client's ego. So it's important to not, shall we say, blow smoke. It's important to be authentic mm. and ask 
questions that will drive down to their authentic self. Sure. And to the authentic needs, mm. goals, challenges. Like, what are their strengths? What are their true strengths? Mm. Not, not what, what their talking points are. Right. You know? Right. But let's, let's, let's wait. There are no cameras right now. It's just the client and the consultant. It's yeah. the, the client and ECS. And we want to know what actually got this business to three million, to five million, to ten million in revenue. Mm. Okay. So ha do you feel like you've gotten away from that? Right. 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 Instead of saying, oh, well, you know, you're doing a great job. They, they, those are things they know already. And while, yes, they will stroke their ego, and yes, they will make them feel good, that's not what we're here to do. Mm. So we don't come in like raging bulls. We don't come in smashing the mirrors and, and blowing the smoke away. But we're going to sit those mirrors down. Yeah. That's for the marketing department yeah. to hold up. Yeah, right. right. The smoke, that's for the sales department. Yeah. Right? Because there, there there's a time and place for smoke and mirrors. Right, yeah. Right? But when you are trying to help someone, the best thing to do is to leave the ego at the door and say, who are you? Mm. And, and wh wow, where's, that, the, where's the help really See, that, is re that to me, that's a very, very powerful th uh, thought process because um, that's a difficult thing to do for an entrepreneur. I ran, you know, run my own business for 31 years. To sit back and say, listen, I want to get into your authentic self. Right. The person is, that, that's doing the consulting, i.e., in this case, you and the ECS team, that person is the quarterback, right? So they've got to be really astute. They've got to be able to read the situation, in the case of the quarterback, read the defense, right. you know, maybe audible at the line of scrimmage, but really understand his personnel, right? right? right. Be authentic. Know what skills you have so that you can complete the play or right. complete, you know, complete the strategy for the game. Right. And that, to me, is so huge, Rich. It is an enormous opportunity. So you must have some very, very skilled people at ECS. And very humble. Although the ECS team, especially the managing partners, have a wealth of experience and a wealth of knowledge, the approach with the client is one of humility. Mm. It's, yes, we're amazing. Right. Yeah, yes, we've done a lot of great things, but none of that matters because we did none of that for you. We're here to help you. Yeah. You know, we yeah. need to sit down and let's let's all leave our egos at the door. Right. Right. We can't come in. We're the consultant. Uh, show us your authentic self. Yeah. Well, who the hell are you? Yeah. No, exactly. Hey, yep. look, I'm rich. Right. And I'm here to help. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so can we talk about a, uh, a success story, something that you're working on that is, is really, uh, you know, really str uh, uh, digs at this whole feeling of, of transformation and passion? Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, the most recent success story is a great firm, um, still under non-disclosure agreement, so I won't say the name. Absolutely, yeah. But um, amazing firm, amazing woman, uh, government contractor in the D.C. area. Okay. And she was unable to get financing. Her own bank, so they know her receipts. Mm. Her own bank told her no. Really? Um, she approached us, and the need was 800000 mm. There are a lot of opportunities coming up. There are... She... She is her quarterback for her organization. So she's wearing a number of hats, mm -hmm. and she's at that point in growth yeah. where she's like, if I don't take a few of these hats and hire people to wear them, yeah. I'm going to level out soon. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's never the goal. She'll hit a wall. And so I respect her humility mm -hmm. in saying, wait a minute, this is urgent. I need help in the way of capital. Yeah. Um, and after about... It wasn't the typical 30 to 60 days. It took about 90 days to get a credit facility in place for her, but it was not the 800 that she wanted. It was 1.5 million. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's incredible. Yes. So big win. Yeah. Now, win. What, what, is, what is she able to use for uh, that money for? What, what's the use of funds on, on a loan? Use a of loan? funds is, you know, working capital, payroll, onboarding people, mm -hmm. um, marketing strategy, 
you know, she 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 can use those funds. Yeah, she can use those. Funds I'm sure there's a lot of business expenses. Yeah, I'm sure, Rich. There's a lot of people that's probably wa probably watching this program today, mm -hmm. and will watch it in the future, and they'll mm -hmm. say, you know, well, how can ECS help me grow my business? Mm -hmm. You know, how is that possible? I mean, what are some of the things that you are doing? Well, you said this earlier. You really mm -hmm. uncover some of the pain points that occur in an organization. So without getting into anything specific, how do you help an organization grow? Okay, so how do you help an organization grow? Great question. Um, we look at everything. Yeah. If we come in and, so, so in my early years in sales, mm -hmm. I, like many sales professionals, made the mistake of going in trying to close. Oh my gosh. Right? Yep. Going in trying to pitch. Mm -hmm. We don't do any of that. Mm -hmm. We go in sincerely trying to help. Because if I get to know you and where you need help, mm -hmm. and I focus on doing that, mm -hmm. you know, if, if, if you're at a point where you need private equity, mm -hmm. we have a private equity giant on the team in the form of Hillary Norris. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> Chris, Jason, Bill. Like, from project management Six Sigmas to uh, senior Fortune 1000, Fortune 500 sales consultants, yep. project managers. I mean, Laurel, we have a marketing genius on the team. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah, you do. Whatever we need to do to help that specific business grow, you, that's you exactly do what we step in and do. So not every business, not every business that you walk into um, you, you can start with the growth conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Some businesses have to first change. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I think um, you tell me, but in a lot of cases, change is more difficult than talking about growing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Chris has um, done a lot in that area where culture and culture turnaround yeah. is necessary. And like we were just talking about, it's hard. Yeah. Because for me to say that my organization's culture is not effective for where I want to take my organization yeah. is for me oh, to say boy. that I have created a culture that doesn't serve what I say I'm about. Right. Got to unpack that. Yeah. And quickly just deal with yeah, it. Exactly. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it can be painful. It is painful. Yeah. I'm sure it is painful because a lot of times it's not just I, I have created this culture as an entrepreneur that is not going in the right direction, or even worse p potentially is I've created this situation where there is no real culture. You know, yeah. it's kind of like meandering all over the place. Right. There's nothing really to sink your teeth in. There's no guidance system. Right. So that's even harder. And that's why ECS is the best solution. Yeah. Um, if you have a consultant come in and they touch a pain point. Yeah. And they don't understand how to perform the surgery the, required. Right. To heal. The pain point. Yeah. Right? We're not talking to a friend so we can cope through the situation. We want to address the situation, yeah. heal, and be better for it. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yep. That's some that's, that's critical. Um, you touched on this a little while ago mm -hmm. in the interview, but um, I want to know who's inspired you in, in your life. My first inspiration in life was Charles Moffitt, my great grandfather. Um, this was a man who said less and did so much more for everybody. It was amazing to watch. Wow. It was amazing to see him at family reunions. Yeah. Um, we would always do them in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And you know, he would kind of be standing off from the family, mm -hmm. watching over. And what you think about when you grow up and you're a man now and yeah. you're a professional. He paid for all that food. Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah. He got everybody there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mr. Will, Will Smith, and, and, and to the Smith family, my condolences again. He died a couple years ago and uh, it was a tough funeral for me to be at. Yeah, I'll bet. Because he was my first mentor. Yeah. And the things he taught me are. They're invaluable. Yeah. They're invaluable. That's rich. That's, that's, uh, that's wonderful, Rich. Thank you.
Thank you. Listen, this has been a remarkable 30 minutes. I uh, can't thank you enough for coming on to the show. It's been a pleasure of mine. Mark, thanks for having me. You're welcome, man. Rich. All it right. was awesome. All right. Wow, that was a uh, fantastic interview. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you next week on Rainmakers Roundup. Have a wonderful and safe week, everyone. Take care.